In this video, I'm going to talk about port ACL or PACL. Actually, PACL is a special type of ACL that we can apply to the layer two interfaces of a switch. And it is so useful, you know, that our ACL can be applied to the layer three interface. But with port ACL, you have control over the incoming traffic or inbound traffic on a layer two switch port. Let me to explain the concept and after that, the configuration and verification of the PACL in this video. What is the port ACL or what is the PACL actually? Port ACL are similar to rotor ACLs or RACL. You know that we can configure rotor ACL or RACL in one rotor, okay, when we want to control traffic that is entering or outgoing from one interface. But this is the ACL in a layer two switch. Actually, port ACL are similar to rotor ACL, but are supported on physical interfaces and configured on layer two interfaces on a switch. Actually, in rotor ACL, we configure ACL on the layer three interface of a rotor, but here we configure the PACL on the layer two interface of a switch. Okay, port ACL support only inbound traffic filtering. You know that the rotor ACL support outbound and also inbound traffic filtering. Let me write here about the if we compare of these two type of ACL, we can say when we talk about the rotor ACL or RACL, actually, this is the most common ACL that we know. Okay, in this type of ACL, we configure ACL, for example, a standard ACL or extended ACL. And after that, we can apply it to the rotor, okay, layer three interface or in some cases maybe you want to apply to mls or multi-layer switch for example svi interface or layer 3 interfaces okay you learn about this acl uh, previously but now we talk about the pacl okay pacl means port acl when you use the P uh, port acl you can configure again a standard acl or extended acl and also mac based acl let's, let me write here a standard acl exactly the same acl that you configured previously for the r acl and also you can configure a extended acl okay uh, the same ACL and also here we can configure Mac based ACL okay Mac ACL for example you can control over the, with the Mac address okay and after that we can assign it uh, to the switch means layer 2 switch okay and then to the layer 2 interface it is so interesting but here we have one difference about the rotor ACL okay we can apply it to the inbound direction, inbound traffic actually, and also outbound traffic or outgoing traffic. But about the port ACL, we can apply it and we can use it only for filtering uh, about the inbound traffic. Actually, uh, the processing of the port ACL is similar to that of the rotor ACL. The switch examines ACLs associated with features configured on a given interface and permits or denies packet forwarding based on packet matching criteria in the ACL. When applied to a trunk port, the ACL filters traffic on all VLANs present on the trunk port. When applied to a port with voice VLAN, the ACL traffic on both data and also uh, filter traffic on both data and also voice VLAN. Okay. The main benefit of with port ACL is that it can uh, filter IP traffic using IP access list and non IP traffic using MAC access list. Okay. This is the benefits of the port ACL. Both type of filtering can be achieved. That is a layer two interface can have both an IP access list 
and a Mac access list applied to it at the same time. Let me to show you one simple scenario after that you can easily understand what is the port ACL. I will configure port ACL, okay, in this scenario on this layer two switch, okay, this is a raw switch without any configuration. And here we have PC1, PC2, PC3, and PC4. PC4. I want to show you how you can control a passing traffic between these pieces. First, let me to configure the scenario from the scratch. This is our switch without any configuration. Enable, configure terminal, for example, hostname switch one, okay? And then let me to assign IP address to the VPC1, VPC, PC2, PC3, and PC4. About the PC1, the IP is 10.0.0.1, mask is 24, and gateway is 10.0.0.254. Then about the PC2, IP is the, uh, for example, 10.0.0.2 to a 24 is the uh, for example, prefix length, and then 10.0.0.254, this is the default gateway, about the PC3, IP is 10.0.0.3, mask is 24, gateway is 10.0.0.254, and finally PC4, IP is 10.0.0.4, okay? and then mask is 24 and the gate phase 10.0.0.254. We expect to uh, see connectivity between PC1 and P uh, PC2, PC3 and PC4 now because we don't have any port ACL until now. Ping, uh, ping 10.0.0.2, we have connectivity from PC1 to PC2 and then a ping, uh, for example, 10.0.0.3, again, we have connectivity without any problem, okay? And finally, ping that zero, 10 that zero that zero that four. As you can see, we don't have any uh, problem related to the connectivity. Let me to configure a standard ACL or extended ACL, okay? That uh, with this as uh, configuration, we will see that we have only uh, communication between PC1 and PC3 and PC2 and PC4. Only first, I want to configure one simple ACL for ETH00 of the switch interface. Look at here. In the switch inter in the switch we can configure this simple ACL you can configure a standard ACL or extended ACL I'm going to configure one extended ACL IP access list okay this is the ACL that we configure IP access list for example extended the name of this ACL is a okay and after that we will go to the switch config ext NACL here let me to use permit IP if you want you can configure permit TCP UDP any feature that you learn about them in the access list permit IP means all traffic all IP traffic permit IP uh, from the host 10.0.0.1 to the host 10.0.0.3 as you can see actually because I want to apply this ACL to the ETH00 it means that all traffic uh, um, sent with the source IP of 10.0.0.1 means the IP of PC1 to the uh, destination IP address of 10.0.0.3 means the IP address of the PC3 is uh, free, uh, permitted. Don't forget, I want to apply it to the uh, ETH00. It is so easy. Switch config. Look at your switch config interface like the uh, rotor ACL interface uh, ETH00. This is the command that we have here. You know that this is the layer two interface or this is a switch port interface. If you want, you can use switch port command, but it is not important. It is not necessary because by default, this interface is a layer two interface. And after that here, you use again IP access group command that you learned before about it. IP access group. And after that, the name of ACL, for example, the name of ACL A is A. And don't forget only you can apply it in inbound direction, not outbound direction in. That's it. So easy. Let me to show you what happened after uh, this configuration. You know that it, this ACL only control the traffic that we receive on the ETH00. After apply this um, policy, this ACL to the ETH00, only the source IP, the traffic received from this source IP and with this destination IP can forward it, can receive uh, on the ETH00. Other traffic will be a drop. Let me to show you, it is so easy. In the switch, uh, in this switch, 
let me to show you show access list here show access list as you can see here we have some acls the, these acls are not related to our scenario i didn't configure these acls these acls are default acl in this ios but uh, i will configure my acl look at here ip access list extended a permit ip from the host 10.0.0.1 to the host 10.0.0.3 that's 